I'm here to share with you today the four things that are necessary for growth. And you may be doing some of them, but are you doing all of them, right? And and if you're not doing all of them, why? And how can we fix that? If you're familiar with the Enneagram, I'm a one on the Enneagram, and so I'm always immediately seeing the things that need to be fixed. That's just part of who I am. And so when we're thinking about growth, what's the problem here? Trying to focus in on what can we do better, not to not to be better than others, not for the competition's sake, but to be better than I was yesterday. And so the four things that I think you need to be able to grow your business or to, to grow in general, right? It, there's four things. The first one is you have to desire it. You have to want it. You have to be willing to grow. And some of us struggle with that fear of success. Like, I don't know, like, what if I am successful? What if I do get a lot of people into my program? Am I gonna be able to handle it? I've never done that before, right? And we have this sort of inside fear that becomes this limiting belief that if I'm blessed with these numbers or with this money or with this amount of people to serve, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And so that fear of success and the impending failure in our minds keeps us from desiring it. It keeps us from um, wanting it. And a lot of times that comes because we're focused on ourselves and not on the people that we're going to serve. Like, wouldn't it be amazing if God brought in thousands more people for me to serve? Yes, it absolutely would. And if God brings those people to me, he can give me what I need to be able to serve them sufficiently. Um, and so first you've got to desire it. You can't be scared of the growth. You've got to want it. You've got to be willing for it, right? The second thing is that you need to prepare. Just like when you desire to have a child or when you desire to plant a crop, if you're using a farming an analogy, right? You need to prepare. There's things that you do to prepare your body to have a baby. There's things that you do to prepare your home. There's a nursery to prepare. There's doctor's appointments. There, you know, There's all kinds of things that you do to prepare for the arrival of this precious little one. There's things that you do to prepare a field for the seed that you're going to plant. Right? You don't just go out there and throw it and throw it to the wind. You've got to look at the soil. You've got to get the weeds out of there. You've got to get the stones out of there. You've got to test the soil acid levels. It, like there's all kinds of sciencey stuff that goes into preparing for the growth of a crop. And your business is no different. We need to prepare. Do you have system in, systems in place? Do you have um, the people in place? Do you have the resources to be able to support the growth when it happens? And so we've got to prepare expectantly. My plan is to grow. My plan is to birth this thing. And so I need to be preparing myself, preparing my business for what we're gonna do when that happens. It's an expectancy. I'm expecting that if I do this, this will happen. And so then the third thing is, I've got to care for what I'm preparing for. Again, I don't go out and get the, seed, get the soil ready on the farm and get the weeds out and get the stones out and plant the seed and then just walk away for the next three months. No, I'm out there every single day. I'm making sure that there's no animals getting into it. I'm making sure that the weeds are not coming in and choking it out. I'm making sure the birds are not coming to carry away the seed. I'm watering it, right? You're, you're constantly testing, looking for those bugs or those insects that could come and damage the crops. There's things that you do to care for what you have planted and in your business as well just like caring for yourself during a pregnancy right that's that same same thing goes back to all three of these analogies is that you what you are preparing for you care for you want to protect that investment right you go out and plant a thousand seeds you're not just expecting a thousand seeds back you're expecting multiplied thousands of seeds back from this harvest. You're investing that seed with an expectation of a return that is larger than what you put into it. And um, so it is with your business. So you've got to desire it. You've got to be willing for it. You've got to prepare for it. You've got to care for that investment. And then the supernatural part comes in. This is where we need to ask God for his favor. Scripture tells us that God knows exactly what we need before we even ask him. And he's already working to supply that need for us. And yet he delights, like a father delights to be asked of his child for things, God delights for us to ask him for what we need. He delights for us to ask him for his favor. And so we need to be praying over this, just like you would pray over your pregnancy, just like you would pray over the crops or the weather that you need to be able to bless and grow these crops. 
You need to be praying over your business, asking God to bless it, asking God to give you those divine appointments with the people that he wants you to serve in this business, asking God for favor with partners and with others, asking God for favor in terms of financial blessing, a tool that you can use to continue to grow this thing, right? And so those four things in your business, take a look today and ask yourself, am I desiring growth? Am I desiring to do bigger and better things for God's name, for the glory of God's name? Am I preparing to be able to do those things when God blesses? Am I caring for the investment that I'm putting into this? Or am I just expecting, well, I did my part, we'll see what happens, right? No, we've got to care for it. We've got to continually be out there um, working and diligent and, and caring for what we're putting into this and then asking for God's favor. Pray over your business, give it to the Lord. It's his business anyway, right? We're just the managers of it. Pray over your business, ask the Lord for favor. And then watch expectantly for what he's going to do in terms of return on that investment. So more about this, we're going to be teaching at our event, Handprint Legacy Live, coming up in a few weeks. I would love for you to come and join us for three days of Bible-based marketing instruction. We're going to give you this kind of mindset kind of stuff, as well as helping you get your first or your next online marketing funnel all mapped out. So if you'd like to join us, head on over to handprintlegacylive.com. We have limited tickets and they're going fast. We only have a handful of all access tickets left right now. Go grab your ticket, save your seat, June 24 to 26. We'd love to have you with us at the virtual live event, Handprint Legacy Live, to help you get your next marketing funnel all mapped out.